Friends, here is Captain Bill, speaking for myself and not for Mithy. In this April 1st the news are not very nice. As you are noting, the pressure is increasing and tectonic plates will begin to move. I really hope for the best and we can postpone these events, but you guys will agree that one hour they will happen anyway. There is no avoiding the inevitable. Lots of active volcanoes on the planet and earthquakes are happening in increasing scale and volume and intensity. The 4.8 earthquake in Yellowstone on March 30th should be considered a warning, because it was widespread across boiler cover, as you can see by the graphs of seismographs. Yesterday one of our friends left the area for a few days for prevention after observing a very strange behavior of the geyser old fateful, with volume of activity, well above normal as you can see in this chart. The activity of the park's geysers are also abnormal in these days, with the highest volume of vapor and gases like helium-4, as you can see in this footage made in yesterday March 31st. Animals and birds also left the area, except for some bison that are stranded by fencing of the areas of geysers. Today, the first day of April, Yellowstone graphs show a burst of breakup, which reached all latitudes of the park as you can see in the charts, and this means that all the boiler cap is inflating and releasing the deepest layers. Two significant earthquakes, one of 8.3 in Chile and one of 7.3 in Portugal today also denote a global movement, so be alert and prepared. Really be prepared for any emergency. Anyway, let's hope together for the best for everyone.